welcome to this special Memorial Day edition of Barely the News. I'm Mr. Bear, here to bring you the news from the Bear point of view. Let's get started, shall we? This weekend marks Memorial Day in the United States, a day where the whole country remembers troops that have fallen in battle. Here also with us is well-known peanut butter expert, Goober Bear, to talk about Memorial Day in a special editorial. Goober? Hello, everybody. I'm so glad to be here. It's Memorial Day, and I'm just so proud of everybody who sacrificed themselves for my country. So this is going to be the land of the free, and also the land of peanut butter. That's right. Peanut butter is as American as apple pie. Way back in 1880, they invented it to be a substitute for toothpaste. Can you believe that? Toothpaste. But they changed their minds and decided it was just such a delicious snack. By World War II, they were giving it to our troops in the field to eat. But they found it a little hard to eat peanut butter, you know, because it like sticks to the roof of your mouth and stuff. So they decided that it would be so much better if they put jelly on it. Yes, jelly. And because of World War II, we had the birth of the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. How about that? So... I say to all you guys, as you're celebrating Memorial Day, remember our troops and have a nice peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Thank you. Oh, Lord. I think my story editor has a grudge against me. Unusually heavy rain and snow this winter has caused the Mississippi River to flood its banks in several areas. In order to prevent additional flooding and to protect large population centers, the Army Corps of Engineers has been called in to work the old 1930s levy system. Here with an update on what's been happening with that is Army Corps of Engineer General Fishcake. General? Booyah, bear boy! How you doing? Hey, aren't you the same guy that was the Navy SEAL that knocked off Bin Laden? Oh, that was yesterday's job. This is today's job. We moved on. Went over to the Army Corps of Engineers. Got a big promotion, big pay raise. And I'm ready to help out the American public. Okay, General. What exactly did you do to divert the Mississippi River? Well, there are these big old rusty gates. We found them all up and down the river. We just cranked those babies open and just let that water flow. And by God, New Orleans is safe and Baton Rouge is safe and not so good for some other places. Um, care to elaborate on that part, General? Well, we sort of flooded a couple of places in order to avoid the big cities getting hit. You know, little places like, uh, what's that, uh, uh thing that starts with an A? Don't know what you mean. Uh, a lot of places start with an A in that area. Um, let me think. Uh, a, a, was that place that, uh, Clinton came from? Yeah, yeah, Arkansas! That's right, we flooded Arkansas. You flooded part of Arkansas? No, we pretty much flooded the whole thing. We had a hell of a lot of water to move out of there, and, you know, there just weren't any big towns in that state. So, what the heck, we flooded it. You can't just up and flood a whole state like that. Sure you can. Just think of it as like a little culling of the herd. You know what I mean? Oh, Lord. Okay, so what's the status now, General? Just great. Everybody saved in New Orleans. Mardi Gras is on. Booyah! That's what I say. Booyah! And what about the people in Arkansas? Oh, they'll all dry out eventually. And if the gators don't get them, they'll do fine! Glad I'm not there. Okay, General. Well, thanks for the update. We really appreciate it. Anytime, Bear Boy. I'm always here at your service. Booyah! Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a happy Memorial Day.